Hey guys, in this video, the brilliant Mr. V is going to be comparing things using percentages. Now this is a really important skill that could come up in your calculator or your non-calculator paper, so it's important that you get it understood. If you really want to make sure you can do these questions properly, then there are thousands more questions waiting for you over my website. at comparing two numbers using percentages. Now, the first step's really easy. We're going to look at fractions first and then convert to percentage later on. So 120 as a percentage of 240. We're going to write 120 as a numerator and 240 as a denominator. So we want our fraction to be out of 100 for us to have a nice easy conversion. Now there isn't a nice way to get 240 to 100, so I'm going to simplify and see if any of the numbers I find out when I simplify will help instead. So first thing we can do is cancel the zero off the top and bottom, which leaves us with 12 over 24. And then we can simplify this. We can divide both of those numbers by 12 because they're both in the 12 times table. So 12 divided by 12 is one, and 24 divided by 12 is two. Now again, I want this to be out of 100, and I spotted a way to get it now because I can multiply two by 50 to get 100. But if I do that to the denominator, I'm going to do the same thing to the numerator to make sure it stays the same number. So one times 50 is 50 out of 100. Now step two, I have to change my fraction, 50 out of 100, into a percentage. Now this is actually going to be 50%. And the way it works is the tens value in the percentage so the 5 is equivalent to the tens value in the fraction. And same thing with the units value. The units value in the percentage is the same number as the units value in the fraction. Now, this only works if the denominator is 100. So we couldn't have done that at the start with the 240. You've got to make it be 100 first. And that's our answer. 120 is 50% of 240. Let's do the same thing with question two. So we're going to write 20 as a percentage of 100. So 20 as the numerator and 100 as the denominator. Now this is already out of 100, so I can move on to step two straight away. We've got 20 over 100 and this is to be 20%. And again, as long as the fraction is out of 100, then the numerator is just going to be your percentage. So 20 is 20% 20 of 100. Now let's take a look at question three. So 180 as a percentage of 240. So that would be 180 over 240. Now again, there's not a nice way to make 240 into 100. So let's try and simplify. Cancel a zero off the top and the bottom. 18 over 24. I think I can divide that by two. They're both even numbers. 18 divided by 2 is 9, and 24 divided by 2 is 12. But I think I can divide that again. 9 and 12 are both a 3 times table. Let's divide by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now, can I make that fraction, now it's simplified, be out of 100? So, well, 4 times 25 would be 100. So 3 times 25 would be 75. So now we have the 75 out of 100. So how do we convert 75 over 100 into a percentage? Well, again, the numerator is going to be the percentage because the denominator is out of 100 percent of 240. Two steps, work out your fraction first, simplify it. And step two, try and convert it into a percentage by having it be over 100. So the numerator is the percentage. Now, question four, we'll do the same thing. 150 as a percentage of 30. So I'm going to write 150 first and 30 second. Now, it might be quite tempting to write the 150 on the bottom because the previous questions, the largest number has been on the bottom as the denominator. But you have to have it in the same way around it is in the question. So let's try and simplify. So we can cross a zero off the top and bottom. Now, you might want to think, well, how can I get 30 or 3 up to being 100? But remember that fractions and divisions are the same thing. And so this would read 15 divided by 3. Now, 15 divided by 3 is 5. 
So if you have a top-heavy fraction, sometimes you might be able to do the division. So how do we write 5 as a percentage? Well, you can write any whole number as a fraction 1. So 5 is exactly the same as 5 over 1. 5 divided by 1 is, is 5, so the denominator of 1 doesn't really make a difference. But if you want this to be out of 100, then 1 times 100 is 100. So 5 times 100 is 5 100. So now I want to try and convert this into a percentage. 500 over 100 would be 500%. And again, looking at tens and units, the units in the fraction is the units in the answer. The tens in the fraction is the tens column in the answer. And now we've got a hundreds column. We have a hundreds column in our answer. So 150 is 500% the size. Question five, let's do the same thing. So 200 as a percentage of 100. So that would be 200 over 100. And fortunately, we already have it out of 100. So 200 out of 100, 200%. As long as the denominator is 100, then the numerator is your percentage. Now with the easy questions, that was the non-calculator method. But with the medium questions, we have much more complicated numbers. So we're going to use a calculator method now. Now if you remember that we're writing these as a fraction, so 120 over for the first question. And also remember that fractions and divisions are the same thing. So I'm not even going to try and simplify that and work it out with a calculator. You can just do on your calculator 120 divided by 335. And that is going to give you your first step towards your percentage. So on a calculator, let's type in 120 divided by 335. And that's going to give us, it's quite a log number, 0 0.35820. Eight nine five five two. Now to convert this into a percentage, again, like the easy questions, we'll look at hundreds, tens, and units. Now with a decimal, the first decimal place is the tens column of your percentage, and the second decimal place is the units column of your percentage. This is going to be thirty-five percent. Again, tens column came from the first decimal place, and the units column came from the second decimal place. Now, of course, we've actually got a lot more numbers there, so it's actually a bit more detailed than just 35%. So we are going to round. Now, we haven't been told what to round to, so a safe bet, if you've not been told what to round to, is to round to two decimal places. So we're going to write 35.82%. So let's move on and do the same thing for question two. 19 as a percentage of 3 or 9, that would be 19 over... 309 and again fractions and divisions are the same thing and we will have a calculator for this so we just do 19 divided by 309 so let's type that into a calculator so 19 divided by 309 that gives us 0 0.06148 Three, one. Now, again, this is all going to be about the tens and units of the percentage being the first and second decimal places in the decimal. So I have zero tens, I have six units, and then we'll just to be safe, we'll do two decimal places. So the one, and then we'll do a five after, because while it's a one for in the decimal, the number after is an eight, so we are rounding up. Not sure about rounding, go and watch the rounding video. So 6.15% is going to be the answer. And to avoid mistakes, it's really important to note here, we had zero tens. There was a zero in the first decimal place. And then the second decimal place was our units column. Because some students might do something like write 60% here rather than 6%. Question three, write 69 as a percentage of 116. So we'll just take our calculator and we type in 6, 9, divided by, and then 1, 1, 6. And if you type all of that into your calculator, 0 
six, two. So we'll look at our first two decimal places for our tens and units. So this would be 59%. But we want two decimal places after, so we'll put the four and the eight on as well. So we're saying that 69 is 59.48% over 116. Question four, again, the same method, 124 as a percentage of 34. So on the calculator, you type in one, two, four, divided by three, four. And that's going to give you 3.64705882335. Again, follow the same method here. The first two decimal places are going to be the tens and the units column. So what about that three? Well, that three is next to the tens, so the three is going to be the hundreds column. Now, in the previous questions, we always had a zero where the hundreds column was. So because we had a zero for the hundreds column, we didn't have any hundreds in our percentage, but this time we do. So it's going to be 364%. And again, we're in two decimal places. So after the four, we have the seven and the zero. But I'm going to write a one because after the zero, there's a five and we round up on. So 124 is 364.71% of the size of 34. Again, the units became the hundreds, the first decimal place became the tens, and the second decimal place became the units, converting the decimals to our percentage. So now for the final medium question, write 52 as a percentage of 33. So on your calculator, type in 52 divided by 33, three, and that's going to give you 1.57 recurring and the five and the sevens keep on repeating forever okay so what's the percentage going to be here so again let's look at hundreds tens and units we do have a hundreds value in the units column we have our tens value in the first decimal place and our units value in the second decimal place so it's going to be 157 percent now we're going to be very curved here because that is not the final answer those decimals recur. That's why we have the dots there. So if we're going to round to two decimal places, those fives and sevens go on forever. So we do have another five and a seven afterwards. So we're going to put those in the decimal places. I'd write five, eight, because after the seven, there would be a five. And so I'm going to round up. So 157.58% if we are rounding. And again, the units column became the hundreds. The third decimal place became the tens, and the second decimal place became the units, and anything after that is on the end. So 52 is 157.58% the size of 33. You'll notice the answers that are less than 100. The number you're looking at is smaller than what you're comparing to, and that'll be the first three questions. And if your percentage is greater than 100, then the first number you're looking at is larger than the number it's comparing to. Now, for the hard questions, we're going to find out what percentage 313 has changed by to get to 144. Now, what do you think about is that 313 is 100%. It is a number that we are starting off with. And we're trying to find the percentage that 144 is. So what we're going to do, follow the method we use for meeting questions, is we're going to do 144 divided by 313. Now this is the opposite way around to what we're doing in the medium questions. We've written the second number we're given first. The reason for that is we already know what 313 is. It's 100%. It's a number we're starting with. So we need to figure out what's going on with 144. So on your calculator, you can type in 144 divided by 313. And that should give you 0 0.46 and that would be 46%. So that means that 144 is 46%. Now, that isn't actually what we're looking for. It's not asking us what percentage 144 is of 313. It's asking us what percentage 313 has changed by. So how do we get from 100% to 46%. Well, we would have to take something away. We would have to 
take away 54 percent 100 take away 54 is 46 so what percentage is 313 changed by it's a 54 percent decrease let's try the same method with question two so what percentage as 284 which will be 100 percent changed by to get to 131 so we'll do the number we're looking at 131 to find out what's going on with 131 because we know that 284 is 100%. So on a calculator, we can type in 131 divided by 284, and we're going to get 0 0.46 again. So coincidentally, we've got answer. Uh, now, I've rated two decimal places this time. So the next one will be a 1 and a 2, so it's pretty close to 0 0.46. So that would be 46%. So just like question one, it's going to be a 54% decrease. We're starting with 100%, 284, and we're taking away 54% to get to the 46% that 131 represents. So let's try this again with question three. What percentage has 395 changed by to get to 237? So 237 divided by 3. Nine five. Type this into a calculator and you should get 0 0.6. Now it's important to know that 0 0.6 is 60%. It is not 6%. So just remember that the first decimal place is the tens column in your percentage and the second decimal place is the units column and 60 are very different numbers. Now again, we're starting off at 100% and we want to move to our 60% figure. So how do you get from 100% to 60%? Well, you have to take away 40%. So this would be a 40% decrease. Now let's look at question four. So what percentage has 33 changed by to get to 72? Now remember, we're writing the second number down first. So it's 72 divided by 33. We're not having the smallest number first and large number second. You can have the small or large number on either side. So let's type that into a calculator, 72 divided by 33, and that gives us 2.18 recurring. One recur. That gives us 218%. Now, the one and the eight do recur. So we could have decimal places. We could write 218.2 or 0.181818. But I'm just going to round this the nearest whole number. Just keep these questions simple. Again, remembering that the first decimal place is the tens column. The second decimal place is the units column. And any whole numbers are going to be in the hundreds column. Now, again, we need to think about our final answer. 33 was 100%. It's the number we are starting at. And 72 is 218%. So how do you get from 100% to 218%? Well, you need to add on 100% and 18, 118% increase because the number's gone up. So if you take 33 and you increase it by 118%, you get your 72. So now let's look at the final question. What percentage has 63 changed by to get to 178? So we're doing 178 divided by 63. Type that into a calculator. 178 divided by 63 and that should give us 2.8 next 25 i'm going to round to two decimal places so i'll write 83 so as a percentage that would be 283 percent so how do i get from 100 percent our original value 63 all the way up to 280 3%, the 178, I'm going to have to increase by 183%. So the number is 100% less because we're starting off at 100%. We've already got 100. That's going to be a 183% increase. It has gone up. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.